bus stop. This one just got listed, so I'll pull this one up as well. This one already has your driveway. As you can see, the driveway is already done. Not a mess. Let's give this a good open. As you walk in, the stairs, right there. There's a washroom there. And closets. Front entrance, stairs. Let's hit the lights. Appliances aren't in yet, so we have to find out what appliances go in. This looks like a laminate flooring, but it's a nice laminate. Laminates are very versatile. Uh, your kids can spill whatever they want on here. It's fairly easy to clean up. And then that's your backyard. So as you can see, you don't get much sun in the backyard. That would be the only drawback on this one. You have an electric box in the back. You should be able to build a garage, but only on this side not the other side. So you have a limited uh, space where you could do the garage. It has to be on this right, not a garage, but if you wanted to build like a gate or a fence or anything like that, uh, you do have an electric box and some utility right of ways there. But otherwise, it's a fairly cold backyard. You can see the neighbor did one of those plastic type of fences where uh, you don't have to ever paint them. So very low maintenance. Now back to the interior space. Nice and big. So this would be your formal dining area right there. And then you set it up with a nice living room. The fireplace does stick out quite a bit so it eats up some of the space. You can see how deep that is. So it eats up some of your living room space. So if you had a TV up here it would be pretty high. Uh, alternatively, you might be able to do a TV stand there. Up to you. Countertops, you got quartz only on the island. There's not quartz over there. They did a similar color, but this is not quartz. Kind of looks a little cheap. And then you have this walk through mud room to the garage. The garage is insulated and drywalled, so it's nice and warm. And you have this mud room right here. Hang your closets, come in from the garage. You can put up some racks up there and some shelving if you needed some more shelving space. This would be your pantry. Dishwasher, stove. And then you'd have a microwave up here over the over the stove. So I'll take one of these guys as well. This kind of shows you the plan. The juniper. All right, let's go check out upstairs. So pretty big laundry room. You have a drain there, so it's nice to see. So you have tile and you have a floor drain. So if you ever overflowed up here, it should go into that drain. So this is a bonus room above the garage. And it's a good size. You don't need bigger than this for a bonus room. And they did two other bedrooms here. As you can see, just some standard basic closets. So comparing that to 133 uh, Legacy Manor, these closets are a little smaller. This room's very bright, south facing, or west facing. So 
So here we are in the master bedroom. That's a very big master bedroom. You can fit a king size with two nightstands and maybe even, even some other furniture. And then this ensuite, the tile's a nice pick. You got a soaker tub. His and her sinks. They cheaped out on the cat on the countertops. So they didn't do quartz here. But I'm glad that they actually tiled it all the way up. Some houses they don't actually tile all the way up, which is good. And you have a separate toilet for when Ivan makes a big stinky poop. And pretty big walk-in closet. That's actually nice. So the ensuite on the last one was just a tad nicer. This one's also very nice. And a big master bedroom. The layout upstairs is quite nice. I kind of like it. Let's go see what the potential for the basement is. So most people will use this for storage, but just so you guys see what the potential layout looks like. It's good that the furnace room is tucked in far into the corner, which maximizes the rest of the space. So one thing that I noticed here is that there's no rough in for a washroom down here. So that's very interesting to point out. So if you ever wanted to do a washroom, you'd have to jackhammer the concrete and try to get into into the main drain there so they did a few things that are kind of cheap i'm going to make some notes for you guys but otherwise uh not bad regular popcorn ceilings And it looks like it's an east backyard. So east backyard might get morning sun, but not afternoon sun. Kitchen layout looks nice, but they did a few things cheap. So this is the outside. And here's, I'm assuming it's the same builder. Same builder, this is what they do with sod. So they only go to your back fence and then they pretty much do the front yard. So you would have everything that has topsoil. You'd probably get As you can see, probably all to the back. This is across the street. use some landscaping on a nice quiet street this uh, exposed aggregate is a little bit better less slippery and it's a little bit more higher end so this is essentially the same layout, different package. To me, this one's a little bit nicer based on the flooring. So this is their Samsung convection oven counter depth fridge, over the range microwave, and Samsung dishwasher. So you might not get it a, a washer and dryer included in this price, but as you can see, high contrast kitchen tiles are a little bit wider, glossy cabinets, but essentially the same layout.
having this garage west facing and sort of backing onto maybe a treed forested area uh, might be a little bit more preferable than the one across the street. And you also have a paved back alley. Paved back alley done from the beginning is way better so you don't have to worry about uh, increases in taxes afterwards. So this one uh, has a paved back alley. So after this whole development is done, there's gonna be less dust uh, because it's not gonna be gravel backyard, gravel back alley. So the color choices in the color scheme here might be a little bit nicer. These are uh, sort of neutral uh, grayish earth tones, kind of rocky tones. So you got dark gray laminate with a light gray wall, which offsets the nice uh, white crisp um, uh, counters, uh, not counters, uh, cupboards and baseboards. This is kind of like a black galaxy granite. It's got a lot of nice sparkles and specks in it, so it looks really nice. I do know a guy that does granite that could probably match this and put it on this counter, this counter, and probably upstairs in the washroom. Same situation with the garage. It's insulated and drywalled. And then you have some hangers there above the built-ins. We'll go downstairs first. We'll see if this one has the same issue with a rough in for the basement. Still no rough in for the basement for the washroom. So we'll have to ask about that. Everything else is essentially the same. Actually, one thing I noticed. There's a crack there that we might want them to fix. Not a big concern, but a small foundational crack. And if it's in the foundation slab, if it's, I know a lot of guys that do concrete, they say if you could fit a toonie in there, then you should be worried, but it's not quite there at that point. And every floor cracks. But this one overall over there looks pretty good. As you can see. Let's go upstairs. So, because you're west facing, this room will be nice and bright in the afternoons, but dark in the mornings, which is kind of what you want. Nice on suite. Maybe a little cheaper tile. Subway tiles all the way up. And the big walk-in closet. You have a little pocket door here as well for the extra privacy while somebody's getting ready for work. The layout of the house is quite nice. Upstairs laundry. They probably don't include the washer and dryer, so you'd have to buy your own. I might be able to negotiate a washer and dryer. Same washroom like the other house. You see what the lights on is pretty bright. And a good sized bonus room. So nice second living area. A little bit more cozy. You can put a baby gate there and a baby gate here, and this is your play area for Michaela. All 
right, moving on to the next one. All right. This is house 120 Legacy Circle. As you can see already, it's a little bit of a different layout. You got a little office flex room den in the middle. We're right at the entrance. Stairs in the middle. That take you down to the basement. A half bathroom. And you walk in. It's got a little carpeted area that nicely separates the living room, dining room, and kitchen. Backyard feels a little smaller, so you don't get as much of a backyard. Let's see what they got here. Oh, I can't show you that part because it's actually closed, so we'll go to the window. And they haven't built a balcony yet, so I'm not sure if they will. So we've got to find out about that. So essentially, what I liked about this house uh, was the space between the houses seems wider, but it might be a little bit of a shorter lot. So if you could figure a three seat here or a L-shaped couch or U-shaped couch, you could do some built-ins or some speakers and some shelving on the sides. But that fireplace mantle sticks out quite a bit. So, middle sink with some gray quartz. Your standard little backsplash. Walk through to the garage. Also insulated and drywall. And then a closet. So if you wanted to, you could do a little bench here. But it's a good, good space. Not a bad layout. The other layout seemed a little bit more open between the living room and the kitchen. So slightly smaller bonus room area. A little bit of an irregular shaped room. And a standard closet. So, the, so far the Trico home is the only one that had walk-in closets in the kids' rooms. This one might be a walk-in. There we go. So you get one walk-in closet. And here, you have your four-piece. So one thing about this house is that, see how they didn't tile all the way up? It's the same builder, Lifestyle Homes. But if water ever started leaking behind the drywall, it'll deteriorate the drywall a little bit faster. On the other ones, they tiled it and they sealed it with silicone. And then you got a plastic enclosure. This house is only five grand cheaper than the other one, but it has a walk-through laundry to the master closet, similar to the Trico house. So that's a nice feature. You can lock this. You have a nice little tabletop here, so you can fold the laundry. You can do some cupboards or shelves underneath. And then it takes you right into the walk-in closet. And here's a similar tile that we saw in the other washroom. A little bit of a different washroom layout though. I think the builder sort of cheaped out a little bit when they didn't do quartz, even though that only saved them probably an extra five or six thousand dollars. Here they tiled all the way up, which is better, but they cheaped out on the second washroom.
as you can see, house is facing in this direction, like 180 and 120. Don't get as much sun in the backyard. So you'd have to go use the parks if you wanted to get out and get some sunshine. All right, moving on. One last look at this one. Personal preference, I'm leaning towards 187 just because of the lot and the house. Before we go to the next house, let's check out downstairs. A little different layout than what you typically see, but a very functional layout. So you could easily have a living room right here, a bedroom with that window and over there, and maybe even a second bedroom downstairs. So this does give a lot of opportunity to grow. And you might be able to tap into one of those clean outs there on the ground for a washer, uh, washroom.